to the vlog. So today we're going to be doing a little workout on the camera. So it's going to be a chest and tricep workout today, so a push day. Yeah, follow me. So currently I'm taking a supplement called creatine monohydrate and it's from my proteins, pretty cheap stuff. You take five grams of this a day. There's one and a half small scoops for this and it's an orange flavor so this one's pretty good. Make sure it's clear pure creatine. Mix is better, it's better quality. So I usually take a scoop of that, a scoop and a half of that every day, so five grams. So in our body, we have um, energy known as ATP. Um, whenever we do any sort of form of training or strenuous exercise, um, that energy becomes unusable because we use it. So ATP turns to something called ADP. And what creatine does is it replenishes ADP by providing a phosphate group. So what that basically means is it turns the unusable energy back into reusable energy. So by supplementing with creatine, you're essentially allowing your body to quickly turn that unusable energy that's been used back into reusable energy. Welcome to the home gym. Say hello to Danny. Hey, how you doing? Say hello to Kimba and Rambo. <laughs> and here we pretty much have everything you need so you've got a multi gym here so you can hit your chest you can hit your squats loads of back movements cables things like that you've got a little body tower here some cardio machines That's used it. to do sparring speakers in the ceilings here always built from home so we're gonna jump straight into it hope you enjoy what we do. Welcome guys to the commentary. So starting off with a nice lightweight bench press to get some blood flowing through the muscles. Most times I actually warm up using the bar by itself and push for about 20 reps just to loosen up the chest and avoid hurting yourself when it comes to pushing the heavier weight. So here we warmed up with about 60 kg on the bar uh, for 10 to 12 reps just to get the blood flowing through. As you can see, keep the elbows tucked in slightly. Don't flare them up um, because it's gonna activate your shoulders and you wanna be activating mainly your chest because that's what you're trying to grow here. So once you're done with the warm up, onto the working sets. So four working sets. And we're gonna go for a total of four working sets with eight reps. If you're able to do more than eight reps easily, then up the weight. So pick a weight you're comfortable with. Uh, don't go too heavy. If you need a spot for every single rep, then it's definitely too heavy. Uh, you only wanna have a spot, if you have one available, for the last rep or two maybe, just so you can get that last squeeze up. But if you're by yourself, then pick a weight you can do six to eight comfortably with. If you're like me and you have longer arms, then it may be uncomfortable sometimes to go all the way down, as you can see. Um, so what you wanna do is come as far down as you can go and then engage the chest and push off. Next, we have the incline bench press. So you wanna hit about six to eight reps, really focus on the upper chest development here. Again, keep your elbows in, squeeze, press up. Um, don't pick a weight that's too heavy because you don't wanna engage your shoulders. Uh, remember to tuck those elbows in and get a good contraction in your chest. And you wanna superset this move with some dumbbell flies. So you wanna bring those dumbbells all the way down to the side, get a nice squeeze on the side of your chest and then pull them together. And really focus again, get that squeeze in, your, in the middle of your chest. If it's too heavy and it's hurting your shoulders, lighten the weight, it's not worth injuring yourself. Once you injure your shoulders, the whole workout is gonna be out the window. And now moving on to some cable flies. So standing upright, keep your back straight, leg back. Focus on bringing those cables all the way back, get a nice big squeeze in your chest, and then pull forward. Be careful not to keep your arms too straight. You can have a slight bend in them if you want, and that way it allow you to get a deeper contraction. Here we can go for about eight to 10 reps, four working sets. And right after you're done, you wanna superset that with some cable press. So again, same posture, um, pull the weight back and press as if you're pushing a dumbbell. 
This will help you bring out your lower to middle chest and it's, an, it's a great movement to superset with the cable flies. So moving on to some tricep movements, here you can see Danny's doing a tricep French press. So find a weight that's comfortable and then you want to get about 8 reps for working sets. Now I occasionally suffer from joint pain on my shoulders which means that it's easier for me to do uh, the movement with a dumbbell instead. So as you'll see in the next clip, um, so you, you can do the same movement but with a dumbbell. So you're aiming for the same rep range, 8 to 12 reps and a total of 4 working sets. So if you're experiencing any shoulder pain or you have any shoulder joint problems then you might find this a more comfortable move. And you want to superset that with a rope overhead extension. So as you can see Danny's pulling the weight down and splitting the rope at the end and what this is going to do is it's going to engage the long head of your tricep and you're going to get a nice squeeze. The long head's responsible for a lot of the size of your tricep, so it's important to get this part engaged. So again, four working sets, eight to 12 reps for this. Coming near to the end now, we're gonna hit some tricep kickbacks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a dumbbell, which you're comfortable with, and you wanna get into an arched position and purely focus on the pivot of the elbow. So keeping the elbow straight, you don't wanna have any sort of swing involved. So that way you're just purely engaging your tricep and you're reducing the amount of momentum involved in the movement. So after you've done three sets of tricep kickbacks, you're gonna jump onto the last movement, which is a dumbbell skull crusher. Now for this movement, again, you wanna focus on the pivot in the elbow. But as you can see, we're not coming straight up to a 90 degree angle. We're keeping that slight arch back. And what that'll do is that'll keep constant tension on your tricep. And the final movement we're gonna add in is a cable rope face ball. So you wanna stand at a slight angle, plant your feet on the ground and have a slight lean back so that you have constant tension on the muscle. So you wanna pull the rope inwards towards you, um, keeping your posture straight at all times and engaging the rear delts. That's the rear part of your shoulder, which gives you that rounded, finished, complete definition. So you wanna find a comfortable weight and not too heavy because you don't wanna strain your neck. And once you've got a weight that's comfortable, eight reps, three sets. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Full workout details will be in the description below. So if you enjoyed the vlog, uh, give it a thumbs up. Always appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. There'll be plenty more content to come. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. I came from nothing, never had a lot. This one is for the have-nots I just wanted to drop the top And pull up on that 616 with the ass shots Ooh.